The next thing that contributes to binge eating is when people categorize foods as being good foods and bad foods. And this is very much related to what we talked about in the last video about un unsustainable diets. And when people put things into categories like good foods and bad foods, it's basically perfectionism and it's, it's a recipe for self-sabotage because it's very easy to extrapolate that to then good days and bad days. And the moment that you allow yourself a taste of something that you've put into the bad food box, well, guess what? Now I've ruined the day, I might as well eat whatever I want, I might as well finish that packet and have a whole bunch of those as well because the day's ruined, I might as well start again on Monday. And some people even take this one step further and they put themselves into the bad box. So now we've got issues with identity and self-worth, self-esteem and body image. And that opens up a whole new can of worms and is, to be honest, a, a topic for, a, for another day. But just bringing it back to this concept of good food and bad food, it, it's a very perfectionist mentality. And what the perfectionist does is they mistake the method, the diet, with the end. But a diet is a means to an end, but they mistake it as the end itself. The end is, for example, to become lean, fit, healthy, uh, to be confident and relaxed around food, and to enjoy, your, enjoy yourself and enjoy your life along the way. You can have all of those things. Uh, and, and a diet, and the diet that you follow, is a means to achieving that ultimate outcome. But the perfectionist, they make the diet the end and they make up these arbitrary rules in their head as to what perfection is and what it means and what needs to, what needs to happen in order for that model of perfection to be accomplished and they get obsessed with controlling every tiny little detail and if I, if I haven't controlled all of these little variables then I'm not on track, then I don't have any willpower, then it means I won't ever get there. They attach all of these kinds of meanings and they just get obsessed with the small stuff. And again, it's inevitable that your brain is going to rebel against that kind of tyranny and suppression. It's, it's completely unsustainable. And the, the perfectionist makes the mistake of believing that's high standards. The people who are highly productive and effective have high standards. They know what the outcome is, they know the minimum standards required to achieve that, and then they hit that standard. They don't make up random rules about perfection and then get obsessed about perfection and they don't um, beat themselves up when they make the occasional mistake because you're going to make mistakes. You're going to have things thrown your way. Things are gonna go wrong that mean that you're unable to achieve your nutritional plan for that day. It's okay, but the moment that you relax and give yourself the flexibility and permission to have a few days like that, it makes it so much more sustainable because now you're not panicking, you won't take knee-jerk reactions, you won't try and compensate for it the next day, which you don't need to do. You don't. If you have one day where you have a little bit of extra chocolate, you don't need to then starve yourself the next day. Like just go back to your plan and be a lot easier on yourself so that the long-term trend is in the right direction. You're gonna get a few blips along the way, that's okay, that's normal. Relax and stop seeing food as being good food, food or bad food. It's so important that you actively incorporate your favorite foods every single week. And if you're not doing that, I believe you're not on track because again, you're reinforcing that, that mentality that that's a bad food and if I have it, I'm off track. And the moment that you actually make it part of being on track, then it changes the whole psychology around it. Then it's like, ah, oh, I can enjoy this because I'm completely on track. But if I don't have this, I'm not on track. I can enjoy it for what it is and then I can just immediately kind of carry on with the other um, foods that are whole, wholesome and unprocessed, if you like. So that's the message for today is stop doing perfectionism. Don't see foods as being good foods and bad foods. Just get the long-term average right and chill out and give yourself a bit of a break.